Jessica Tachikin. And I'm Daisha Russell. Today is Friday, October 4th. And this is the Granite Hills News Network. Today with World's News is Garrett King. Thank you, Daisha and Jessica. I am Garrett King, and welcome to the Granite Hills Newsroom. This is a new segment we will be doing every Friday to catch you up on the week's news. We here at the News Network feel it is important that you know what's going on in the world around you, whether it is here at Granite or, say, in China. With that being said, let's get after it. I'm sure by now most of you, most of you have heard about President Trump's impeachment inquiry. Last Wednesday, Speaker of the House Nancy Pelosi officially announced the inquiry based on a whistleblower complaint about a phone call President Trump had with the President of Ukraine in late July. The complaint details President Trump's request that the Ukraine does him a favor. The White House released a transcript of the phone call last week. In the transcript, President Trump said, quote, I would like you to do us a favor. He then went on to say, there's a lot of talk around Joe Biden's son, that Biden stopped the prosecution and a lot of people want to find out. So whatever we can do with the Attorney General would be great. And of course, Joe Biden being the Democratic frontrunner to take on President Trump next year in 2020. Before he made the phone call, President Trump ordered to hold back $400 million in military aid from Ukraine. Because of this, many people think that is an abuse of power and that he solicited a foreign nation to help intervene in his re-election campaign. Here's what Speaker Pelosi had to say. The actions of the Trump presidency revealed the dishonorable fact of the president's betrayal of his oath of office, betrayal of our national security, and betrayal of the integrity of our elections. So, what follows this? Well, the inquiry is like an investigation. When the House feels ready, the House Judiciary Committee will vote on articles of impeachment. Should that pass the committee, the full House will put it to a vote. If the majority says yes, then Trump will be officially impeached, but not removed from office. Then it will move to the Senate for a trial. The U.S. Senate acts as a jury, and if two-thirds or 67 senators of the Senate vote to convict the president, Trump will officially be removed from office, and Vice President Mike Pence will assume the presidency. The whole process can take a long time to complete. We'll keep you updated when more news comes out. That's going to do it for me here in the newsroom. Thanks for watching. The news continues. I'm going to hand it back over to Daisha and Jessica. Attention students, homecoming dance passes are now available in the front office. Homecoming will be held Saturday, October 12th from 7 to 11 p.m. Guest passes are due Friday, October 11th. And now here's your school feature. Attention Eagles, remember that the new lunch boundaries will go into effect beginning Monday, October 7th. Students, boys soccer will be having a preseason meeting Monday, October 7th at lunch in room B. If you're interested in playing soccer, please attend the meeting. And now here's your school information.